Hi, my name is Rich Harrington, and welcome to this edition of Video Adrenaline for Adobe Premiere Pro. Today, we're going to explore a way to make a better black and white image. And not just any black and white, but sepia tones or duo tones, really those cool looks that you like to achieve when working with your footage. It all starts by using a combination of filters. So I've got a clip here, and let's sort of get this where we want. First thing I'm going to do is take advantage of the equalize effect to really get the separation that I want. And what I recommend is that you equalize the brightness and adjust this until you get the right sort of contrast between the different elements. Notice before, we're really having our subject blend in. The gray shirt is blending into the gray chair and the gray background. But with the equalize effect, we've got some better separation there to help things stand out. It looks pretty good. If you don't want to do equalize, the shadow highlight command also works pretty well. I'm then going to type in the word black and white, and you'll see we have the image control effect for black and white. Now, unfortunately, this effect is an all on or an all off effect. It just doesn't do that much. But you can adjust it there and use the equalize command to sort of adjust its intensity. Once you get it how you want, you're going to refine this using curves. So let's just type in curves. And we're going to use the RGB curves, which are very powerful. We'll drop that on, twirl it open, and you see here we've got the ability to use the master channel to go after everything. Now I recommend that we just start to pull this down and do sort of a typical S curve. Bring this up just a little bit, brightening the highlights. Pull the top end down so they don't clip. There we go. Roll that, get a little bit more in the blacks. There we go. And you see that's looking pretty good. Once you get the black and white adjustment where you want it, you could then leave it alone or finish it out with a little bit of stylization. If I wanted to create a tint to this, like a duotone or a sepia tone, I could just go into one of the individual channels, such as red here. And notice as I sort of pull that up, how I can get the look that I want, or even customize it. If you want to get a little bit dirtier at that, not just a pure red or a pinkish tint, just roll down and put a little bit of the other channels in there. In this case, I pull a little bit of blue away, and we get that nice brownish sepia tone. If that's looking pretty good and you just want to finesse it a little bit more, jump on into the gamma correction. And you could do a little bit of tweaking in there and bring things up and down until you get the look that you like. While this is all subtle and you could probably do it with one or two fewer effects, I find that combining these effects lets me take the best features of each effect. So I use the equalize command to get the right separation. Once I had that, the black and white adjustment, which is much more powerful than just stripping out the color, it tries to create the correct contrast there and really get a good balance in the black and white image. I then used my channel curves, and that really let me get in there and play with the contrast overall and tweak the color value to give it a nice tint. And then to just finish it out, I put a little bit of the gamma correction in to really find the proper exposure or midpoint for the finished image. So if we put those sort of side by side here, let's take a look at how that looks. Here's our original clip, and you see it's just perfectly fine, but we were able to create a nice black and white look, which is very different from the two. And it all came from knowing which filters to apply, which order to apply them in, and how to tweak them to get that nice, subtle, organic, or natural sort of sepia tone. For Creative Cow, my name is Rich Harrington, and I invite you to head on over to creativecow.net where there's a ton of great forums and tutorials that you can check out that will show you how to get more done with Adobe Premiere Pro.